Serkan. Kirken. Gherkin. Okay, now, I seriously need to look up that pronunciation, don't I? Thanks, Sunderland, for waiting to announce this uh, when I was at work, meaning that it was going to be a good few hours before I was able to get my video up about this. Um, anyway, as you can tell by the title, and I know that Jam Sony's already put a video, I think Thane SCFC's already put a video, there'll be quite a few um, Sunderland bits of content that I've already put out. Um, a video on this subject, but regardless, as the title says, Sutherland have signed um, is it Der hang on, Dennis Serkin or Kirkin, but he has signed on a three year deal joining from Tottenham Hotspur. Now, usually I would try to read the statement out for you, but to be honest, it's it's far too late for it at the time of recording. I just want to get the video out. Um, let me let me know first of all before I continue, like, comment, and subscribe, please. It'd be greatly appreciated. I'm not far off two and a half thousand subscribers. So let's see if we can try and push that number up a little bit. Um, if you like the con, and I noticed that on the analytics, I think only about barely around about half of the people who watch my videos are subscribed. So if, if those of you who clearly aren't subscribed watching my video, if you could consider liking and subscribing, it would really mean a lot to us. Anyway, Dennis Serkin. Right, for the for the rest of this video, I'm going to call him Serkin, but I might end up being wrong on that, and I'll have to change my pronunciation in future videos. But regardless, so yeah, this is one that was kind of in the pipeline for a while. It was one that was rumoured for quite some time, actually, about him joining Sunderland. And the fact that we've got him on a three-year deal suggests that we are seeing him as a good prospect. Uh, well, not even a prospect. Uh, we must see him as good enough to get into our first team straight away. And although you can argue that this is not the right metric in which to judge signings by, the fact that I've seen pretty much every Tottenham fan, almost every Tottenham fan I've looked at, in saying... Um, their opinions on him joining Sunderland, they, they, most nearly all of them seem gutted that he's gone permanently. Um, bear in mind Tottenham will have a buyback clause probably and sell on clauses. Now, hopefully he performs well enough to the point where that is considered. I'd much rather we didn't have the buyback clause in there, but I suppose we're not really in the position to negotiate these things, unfortunately. Um, nevertheless, though, the fact that we have... Th this must be what we've meant when we said we're going to be patient and we're waiting for the right sort of players to come up. Now, and who knows, now that we're fine, and also, we've finally signed a fullback as well, um, about at least a month later than I would have liked, but I'm hoping that because of the fact that if we'd signed him a month earlier, if we'd signed a fullback, rather, a month earlier, then there's a good chance that the player we would have then got wouldn't have been as good in quality. Now, again, I haven't watched Serkin play, I don't know what his playing style is like, I don't know how good he is going forward defensively, if he's better at going forward than defensively, he's better than defensively going forward, I don't know any of that. Time will tell on that. He's obviously signed well in time to make his debut at MK Dons at the weekend. Um, which I'm going to, by the way. Can't wait for it. Um, um, so we'll have to wait and see on that one. Hope, but like I said, this signing is the first one where we bought a player, or brought a player that, you know, not loaned them, where we view them as a prospect for the future. Um, good enough, you would think, as they are, good enough to be an elite and to be a very, very good League One player, but then will grow with us, hopefully, the more we go up the leagues. Um, and then we'll... So I think it was a six... It might have, I might be wrong here, but I think it might have been a six-figure fee that was reported on this, actually. I really should have looked this up before starting the video, shouldn't I? But this is the type of player that will buy cheaper and then develop and sell on for a huge profit. And as I said many times before, unfortunately, and I know some Sun fans aren't going to like this, we're going to have to do that to start being sustainable. Um, and that's just unfortunately the, the truth of the matter, unfortunately. Anyway, guys, look, this video, to be honest, it's been a mess. Um, I just wanted to get it out and then get to bed. But regardless, hope you enjoyed it. Um, and the next, and unless we make another signing in the next couple of days, which I very much doubt we will, um, the next video you'll see from us is MK from out, uh, around Stadium MK on Saturday. Cannot wait. Hope maybe see some of you guys there. Who knows? Take care, stay safe, love you lots, and see you later.